I'm going to talk you through how to answer questions for the block-based groups for the upcoming 2025 coding challenge. You will start by logging into the challenge using the username and password provided by your teacher. You will then be prompted to check your account details. Please make sure these details are correct as this is what will appear on your certificate. Please only edit this data if your teacher has asked you to do so. Next, you will either see a list of challenges, as you can see here, or just the one challenge that your teacher has assigned for you to take. For this example, I'm going to choose the novices group. Please make sure to choose your challenge carefully and correctly. Once selected, this cannot be changed. The final page you will see before starting the challenge is a declaration. Please read through this and tick the box before proceeding. By ticking the box, you're agreeing to abide fully and honourably by the challenge rules and not to cheat in any regard. When you enter the challenge, you'll see a list of the questions, the difficulty rating and whether or not you've answered the question. For all A questions, they're awarded four marks and the two B questions are awarded eight marks. So if you click on the first question, you will see your time remaining in the top right hand corner. You can hide this sidebar to provide you with extra room to add the blocks for the task. So I'm just going to walk through how to answer the purple star question for the novices challenge. This one uses our turtle block lead grader. So you will see the turtle starts in the middle here. In this question, we need to write a program that draws a purple star. It says your turtle will need to draw a triangle that has size 100. So we're going to go to the turtle tab and we're going to draw a triangle with size 100. Now, before I run my code to check that it is completely correct, I'm going to click on next step, which will just draw the blocks that are there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn right. So I'm going to turn this turtle upside down and draw another triangle. So I'm going to turn it 180 degrees and I'm going to draw another triangle there. Again, I'm just going to step through this before I run it. And when I click on run, it will tell me my answer is correct and your answer has been saved. So I've correctly answered that question. I'm going to click on show sidebar or you can click on next to go to the next question. When you've fully answered a question, the purple flower will appear next to it. The current question has a little blue arrow next to it. So I'm going to also show you a question using the uh, block grader, which just uses the blocks without the turtle. So we're gonna look at Battenberg cake. So again, I'm gonna hide this sidebar because otherwise I don't have quite enough room to add the blocks in there. So the scene shown below is a slice of Battenberg cake. All the colours are faint, so you can see what you're trying to draw. You need to write a programme using only one type of block, which is this block here, to draw the image shown. Now the hints here give us some more information. Um, we can see that the image is made entirely from square shapes. Apart from one square that needs a radius of 32, all radius and position values are multiples of five. And we only need to use the three colours on the top row here of the colour picker. So I'm going to start off by doing the orange outline here. Okay, so I'm going to call this shape, uh, I'm actually going to call it the marzipan, because that is what it is on a cake on the Battenberg cake. I'm going to give it four sides because it's a square and I'm going to colour it orange. I'm going to give it a radius of 32 and I'm going to set the position in the middle of the grid which will be 50 50 so 50 50 so I'm just going to run that okay and I've got my orange outline. So notice it says that this is not completely correct yet. That's perfectly fine. So I can carry on. And now I'm going to add a yellow inner square. And again, give it four sides. 
yellow colour, the radius is going to be 30 and the position is going to be 50 and 50. So I'm going to do that inner yellow square now. So I'm going to run that, perfect. And now I'm going to add the two red squares. So I'm going to add the first red square and I'm going to add this red square just here. So I'm going to give it full size, make it red. I'm going to give it a radius of 15 and the position as 65, 65. So it should go, the centre of it should be about here. So let's just run that to see. Perfect. And I'll need another red square in the top left hand corner of that yellow square. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So right click and duplicate. Add my second red square. Give that one a radius of 15, but this one I'm going to set the coordinates to 35, 35. So I'm going to run that. Perfect. And there we go, the correct answer. So when you've finished answering the questions and you've done as much as you can, again, you don't need to answer all questions, just as many as you can in the time provided. Click on end. You will see a, just a review of all of the questions, the marks and whether you've answered them or not. If you have definitely finished before the timer finishes, then we're going to go yes, end competition. And that's all. So your results will be issued two weeks after the challenge window closes, which is on the 4th of April. And certificates will be one week after your results. So a three week window for certificates and results. Thank you for taking part in the coding challenge and I wish you all good luck.